Hey everyone, welcome back to task number seven, choosing a fishing domain. So let's get right into it. Uh, choosing the right fishing domain to launch your attack uh, from is essential to ensure that you have the psychological edge over your target. A red team engagement can choose some of the below methods for choosing the perfect domain name. Uh, number one, expired domains. Although not essential, buying a domain name with some history may lead to better scoring of your domain when it comes to spam filters. Spam filters have a tendency to not trust brand new domain names compared to ones with some history. Uh, this is actually incredibly good advice. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, really, really good red team attacks and uh, even true malicious attacks happen uh, just because of uh, they, they picked up the right expired domain names. You know, domain names expire for a bevy of reasons and uh, if they were able to pick one up that you trust, then that's usually how a, a, a breach can happen. Um, so, uh, typo squatting. Typo squatting is when a registered domain looks very similar to the target domain you're trying to impersonate. Here's some of the common methods. Uh, misspelling. Uh, it's, you know, it's Google versus Google or goggle versus Google, excuse me. Additional period. Uh, you can see right there, they added a period between the two O's. Uh, switching numbers for letters. They're using two zeros there. Uh, phrasing. So they added an S instead of the Google.com. It's Googles.com. An additional word like Google results versus Google.com. Um, so you can see how they've they've altered that that URL. Uh, these chances might be look realistic, but at a glance, the human brain tends to fill in the blanks and see what it wants to see, i.e., the correct domain name. Uh, top level domain alternatives. Uh, a top level domain is the .com, .net, .co, .uk, .org, etc. Part of a domain name. There are hundreds of variants of of top level domains now. A common trick is choosing a domain would be the same name but with a different top level domain. For example, uh, register. Uh, tryhackme.co.uk to impersonate tryhackme.com. And finally, uh, IDN homographic attack uh, script spoofing. Originally, domain names were made up of Latin characters, A to Z and 0 to 9, 0 to 9, excuse me. In, but in 1998, uh, the internationalized domain name was implemented to support language specific script or alphabet from other languages, such as Arabic, Chinese, Cyrillic, Hebrew, and more. An issue that arises from the IDN implementation is that different letters from different languages can actually appear identical. For example, Unicode character, um, you know, a Cyrillic small letter A looks identical, identical to Unicode character small letter A. So, uh, use in English, any willing to register a domain name that looks almost identical to another. Uh, and as you can see here, they've taken that A and they've just put in another uh, another character from another language in there, so that's how they were able to get that domain name. Uh, so let's answer these questions. Uh, which is better, using a expired or new domain? Uh, we're gonna put in old. Uh, what is the term used to describe uh, registering a similar domain name with a spelling error? So if we go back up here with a spelling error, um, that would be typo squatting. And there we go. And that is task number seven, choosing a fishing domain. As always, if you have any questions or comments or anything, please put them in the comment box below. And I will see you all in task number eight, using uh, Microsoft Office in phishing. Thank you.